Well, hello there, guys, and thank you for coming back to my channel. I am super excited uh, for making this uh, video for you guys and sharing it with you guys. So in this video, it's actually going to be split into two. So what's happening is I'm flying from Denver, Colorado to Chicago, the Windy City. Let's go. Windy City. Uh, that's what it's called. Uh, Chicago, Illinois. Um from Denver, like I said, so I'm going to be flying United Airlines on a 737 MAX 8, I think, or maybe a 9. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, that'll be very interesting. That'll be a really good uh, flight review that I'm going to do, um, and I'm excited for you guys to see that. And then my other video I'm going to do is a vlog from Chicago Cubs baseball. Uh, obviously, that's why I got my Cubs shirt on. Uh, opening day here on uh, Monday, uh, April 1st, 2024. And for those of you who aren't as familiar, because I know I have a lot of overseas uh, audience, uh, you know, and I appreciate your guys' support more than anything. Um, opening day is the inaugural uh, start day of the season for baseball here. And, you know, baseball is here, huge here in America. Um, but you know, and, and Wrigley Field is their stadium they play at, and that's, that was uh, built in 1914, I believe. So it's it's pretty dang old, um, but it's very historic, and it's an awesome time. So I'm so excited to, uh, you know, vlog, kind of do a, a vlog for that uh, and just share that with you guys and show how cool that is there and what an experience it is uh, to just go there for a, a game. And I'm I'm excited because... Um, you know, there's 162 games in a season, which I know it, it's super long, but it goes from the season, baseball season here goes from April until about September and then playoffs in October. So obviously there's a lot of um, baseball games to go to, but um, I, I usually try to go to a couple of Cubs games out in, in Chicago uh, every season, but this is the first time I've ever been to an opening day game. So I'm, I'm super pumped. And I actually have my dad going with me this time because uh, he's a huge Cubs fan, just like me. That's where I get it from. What can I say, right? Um, so we're going to have a great time, and I'm going to have a really good uh, couple of videos for you guys to, uh, to enjoy. So um, let's hit the road. Another day, another flight. Let's do it. All right, well, welcome to Denver International here in Colorado. And it's pretty chilly here this morning, so that's why I got my winter jacket on, but nothing we can't handle. Um, my flight here is boarding in about an hour, so I gotta get going, but uh, Let's go check out what TSA looks like. Hopefully the uh, security TSA line doesn't look too big. Usually it's not too bad here, but you never know. So let's go check it out.
After walking what seemed to be forever, I'm finally here at the gate I need to be at, and either it's a long walk or I'm out of shape, but we'll go with the first one. There's our ride for today, a 2014 built Boeing 737 MAX 9. All right, we are off to Chicago, Illinois. Let's hop on board and see what the flight will be like. It's a little mind-boggling why they chose to put the power outlets there. It seems like it'd be a little inconvenient for everybody. So these couple of guys pulled up to uh, start putting fuel in the plane and I was watching what was going on out there and it seems like they had no idea what they were doing so I don't know. I don't know how long this will take. It's starting to get a little frustrating and people on board are getting a little, little irritated as well. So. So it looks like our two friends out there that are fueling the plane are having some trouble. They either, they either didn't know what to do or they were trying to learn on the job. I'm not sure, but it took forever to fuel our plane. So we were delayed a little bit, but not, not too bad. Good morning. That is so cool. I have never seen a United plane with the gray and blue engine cowling like that. That is really cool. I'm trying to figure out where all the ground crew went. They must have went and had a coffee break in the middle of loading our plane. I don't know.
the things about United Airlines is if you're a T-Mobile phone provider customer, you get free Wi-Fi on all the flights. I just think that's fantastic. I mean, really, what airlines do you get free Wi-Fi on just for being a customer of a phone service provider? That's oh, and there's a really nice sunrise. I might as well sit and watch that for a while because the entertainment system's not working, so I'll just sit and watch that for a while. So I opted for the questionable tasting orange juice, but I figured it was still a little bit early for one of my Bloody Marys. And in flight they handed out either a cookie or pretzels, so because of my diet I chose the low calorie pretzels. And I was really enjoying these pretzels as I was hoping we'd get a full meal, but Unfortunately, today we're only flying economy, so we're not getting any first-class meals on this flight. Because of the IFE not working, I chose to try to get some sleep. And this is the travel product of the week. It is an Elago brand silicone plastic cover for the AirPods case. And it's so nice because it keeps all dirt and grime away from your AirPods while you're traveling or wherever else you are so that your AirPods case never gets dirty or greasy, whatever it may be. This is a must have product. I was trying not to laugh, but I don't know what this lady behind me was doing. I just didn't want her to catch me filming. get a weird feeling inside me when I look down from the window when we're so high up like that and you see the airport and it's like where are we going what's happening and I know I can't be the only one that feels like that when that happens
landing on runway 27 right today and that there was the I-94 highway very scenic I might add I gotta say though the airport is pretty far from the city which I wasn't really expecting even though I've been there many many times at O'Hare International oh man that was a very smooth landing that was like buttery smooth I wish every landing could be as smooth as that but am I am I uh, am I wrong in saying that that's a fun part of flying not knowing whether the landing will be buttery smooth like that or whether it'll be uh, a bad one and you, you'll never forget it because of that that was wicked that was one of the best landings I think I've ever had I gotta be honest I don't know about you, but I love this terminal at Chicago O'Hare. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. So the first thing you gotta do when you come to Chicago, you gotta come to Portillo's, the best Italian beef and the best hot dogs. I love them. I, I come here every time I come to Chicago and uh, they have the best milkshakes too. So next time you're here, make sure you stop by. This is such a good hot dog. I'm telling you, these are the best. I love these things. And also they, they have uh, roast beef sandwiches. Those are excellent too. Hall of Famer, Cubs Hall Century team member. <laughs> 